At IBC 2018, we're showing some exciting new radio products. We have Ruby and PowerCore. Uh, PowerCore has some new features which enables you to run uh, dual redundant networking, also known as seamless protection switching, uh, so that even in the event of a network failure, your IP streams will deliver reliably. We now have SFP modules on the front for Ethernet. This enables you to run glass and uh, long distances of fiber between your power cores. So this, uh, this is another level of flexibility that you get. We're also showing power core with 2022-7 functionality. 2022-7 is also known as hitless merge, seamless protection switching, and what it enables you to do is to run a redundant IP network. So in the event of an outage, you're, you're able to continue streaming really without any dropout at all. It instantly recovers. The other thing that's new this year for PowerCore is a Dante card. If you have Dante devices, you can now merge them into your Ravenna AES67 professional audio network. And it has a sample rate converter on every Dante channel. So even if you have different clock domains between your Ravenna domain and your Dante domain, everything's going to synchronize and you're going to be able to use this seamlessly. So this is PowerCore, the new edition, and we're introducing it here at 2018 IBC. Here we're showing Vistool. Now Vistool is the most powerful GUI builder in the radio industry. And it's not new, but it's evolved. So in fact, it's constantly evolving. Every year we're showing new features, new advancements, and basically new ways to do radio workflow. What's interesting this year is that we're showing it integrated with David, a playout software system. And so we're able to, with Vistool, create a virtual environment for your radio operators so that they're able to use a touch screen to do everything they need to do in a radio studio. Everything. So at least in this case, they don't even need a radio control surface in the studio. They use Vistool for everything. So they're replacing faders, they're replacing on-off buttons, they're, they're replacing codec remote control, and they're actually interacting with their playout software right on the same touch screen that they're using to control everything in the radio studio. We have many large state broadcasters, uh, really state-of-the-art facilities, that are running entirely on Vistool or in a Vistool hybrid environment where they're mixing physical and glass surfaces or touch screen based surfaces. So we think that Vistool is a pathway to the future where you can build a virtual radio console, do it entirely in a touch screen, do it halfway in a touch screen in a hybrid environment where you use a physical surface and the glass, or uh, perhaps just use the physical surfaces and use Vistool for metering and monitoring and things of this nature.